Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can mask a video into a circle. So first of all, we're gonna give our video a background here. So I'm gonna come into my titles and generators. We're gonna scroll down to our generators and we're looking for the solids option. I'm gonna use a custom solid, and then we're gonna give that a color. So we'll select our solid, we'll come up to our inspector at the top right. If you don't see your inspector, just go to window, show in workspace, and select the inspector. And then we're just going to give this color here, we'll give it a nice blue. Then we're going to grab our video. So we'll come back to our library here. We'll drag our video down to the timeline, just stretch out our background there. So it's the same length as our video. And we're going to highlight the video and we're going to come to our effects. And in our effects, we're looking for the masks option. And this is where we can find the different shape masks that we can use to add transparency to a video. So basically, we're going to use the shape mask. We'll drag that onto our video, and you'll see right away we get that transparency there. Now we've got some nice options for our shape mask. We can obviously change the dimensions of it. We can use this little white circle at the top left to make it rounder, and then we can adjust it. And we can also use this outside circle here to make it sharper as well. And you can see that's changing the, the feather. So we could set the feather to one and that will make it nice and sharp. And then we can obviously move around our mask and adjust it as we need to. So I'm just gonna stretch this out a little bit. And you can see we can also here control the radius as well. So I can control my X radius and my Y radius and I can control them both together. So we'll get this so it looks like a nice circle and then we'll increase the size of it a bit. And the nice thing about these is you can see you can keyframe them as well so we can actually add animation to this mask as we're adding it in here. We can also invert the mask. So if we invert the mask, it's gonna punch a hole in the center of our video, show us the background there. And then we can also do things like convert to points as well and that will allow us to actually select these and adjust those points as a draw mask rather than as a shape mask. So I'm gonna come back to the shape mask. I just did Command and Z there. And now if we wanna actually change the size of our circle and our object, obviously we can't change the radius of our circle here. What we'd need to do is get our circle nice and set up and then use the transform tools to then change the size of that circle. So we can position this using that transform option and we can also keyframe this as well if we like. So if we want to add some animation to that, then we can. We're going to add a little outline to this shape just to finish it off. And we're going to do that if we scroll up in our effects. I'm using the Brett FX power tools. And then we're going to come to our outline option. We can drag that onto our clip. And you can see we get this nice outline now on our clip. We'll turn off the transform tools. And this power tools outline allows us to change the color, change the outline width, and then also change the outline distance as well. You we can have a little bit of a gap between the edge of our video and our outline. So that is very simply how to use a circle mask and add a video into it, and then add an outline to it. Hopefully this is useful. If you have any other questions, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.